We begin tonight with a KCCI 8 News exclusive. State Auditor Rob Sand announced plans today to audit the pharmacy benefits managers that serve Iowa's Medicaid program. A week ago today, our KCCI investigation first showed you the numbers one lawmaker and pharmacist found that caused alarm. KCCI's investigative reporter Alex Schumann is live at the State House to tell us KCCI what happens next. Yeah, Auditor Rob Sand sat down with us to talk about this audit. He wants to know if Iowa taxpayers are getting overcharged for prescription medications. So we are paying more than what we need to pay for the drugs that we're getting. Um, Auditor yeah. Rob Sand is moving forward with a plan to audit what are called prescription benefits managers, or PBMs, that handle prescription drugs for the state Medicaid insurance companies. PBMs are supposed to save the state money, but there's concern they could be doing the opposite. Middleman sells you a Ford, but then charges the state for a Ferrari. KCCI first showed you the numbers in an exclusive investigation. Pharmacist and Iowa lawmaker John Forbes compared the amount his pharmacy would be paid for prescriptions with the amount the state's insurance companies were charged. In one example, Forbes found his pharmacy received $68.44, then the PBM charged Iowa taxpayers $247.58 for that same prescription an increase of 261%. San wants to see if the problem is system-wide, despite Senate Republicans saying the problem does not exist after looking into Forbes' claims. Talked to, the, to a lot of people about it, and I, I just really don't think that audit is necessary. When Senator Costello was told that we didn't need to look into this, he was getting that information from uh, one of the MCOs that is operating in the state already. So. I'm not sure that they would be the folks to trust on that. Governor Kim Reynolds thinks an investigation will prove leaders have the right information. I think it's always okay to take a look at that so that we make sure that we have the right information, that we're not being taken advantage of, that they're not price gouging. Sand is not sure how long the investigation will take, but plans to look at both the PBMs and whether the state could be doing something differently to prevent possible overcharging. It's something that I think anyone who's concerned about taxpayer money should be wanting us to dig into. Now, other states have done similar audits. Ohio found that their state Medicaid program had been overcharged by $200 million. Now, the Trade Association for PBMs says that they save Iowa Medicaid $254 million a year. Live at the State House, Alex Schumann, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.